Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is Dave, and I need a little bit of a change of pace this week, so... Check me out! We're gonna check out Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people. This is by Telltale Games. Let's dive in. No game! Save Lord! Wait, is it my turn? Quit it! Sneak a peek at the next episode. This is episode one, Homestar Ruiner. So we will just <laughs> we'll just start a new game. Uh, my commentary is probably going to be fairly uh, minimal on this uh, one, just because uh, I love Strong Bad Homestar Runner, and uh, we're gonna just kind of let the game speak for itself. Let's dive in. Every morning, feeling awesome. Even though I slept on the remote again last night. Ow! Time to tear up another day. This strong bad freaking way. Like an imploding star, like a burning car. My style shines so bright. Please stop trying to handle my style. Cause you can't. No, you can't. Uh, handle my style. Seriously, quit trying to handle my style. Unless you're a lady, oh. then you're cordially invited to have a giant slice of my style. <laughs> I'm gonna check my email, my email, my email. I'm gonna check my what? Dear Strongman, I'm gonna question. If you hate Homestar so much, why don't you just beat the snot out of him? Are you chicken or something? Confust, N-E-M, Frenchtown, California. First of all, I don't think a Frenchie like yourself is in any position to be calling anyone chicken. Comprendez-vous, cordon bleu? Secondly, I'm pretty sure I don't want to beat the snot out of Homestar. I mean, have you ever listened to the guy? He's obviously got a lot of gunk up there. I could probably handle beating the tar, the stuffing, or the into next week out of him, though. I bet I could find Homestar down at Coach Z's track, running in place or something. The map. Let's see. Now, where should I put the track on my map? I get to pick a spot. Let's pick right here. <laughs> All right, Homestar. I'm not sure why this never occurred to me before, but some French guy said I should beat you up. And I tend to think he's right. Put up your dukes. Oh, hello, strong man. Are you here to watch the race? Race? You mean like a race race? Race race race? You haven't heard about the free country USA triennial race to the end of the race? It's only the coolest and most important sporting event in the history of sporting events I'm about to compete in ever. A race, eh? You know, beating you in a race would be almost as much fun as beating you senseless. I'd like to see it twice, strong man. I've been training my tweets off for weeks now. <laughs> Besides, Mazepin has promised me a big victory party after I win. <laughs> Did someone say party? Oh, heck yeah. Mazepin's putting together a huge party with floats and cake jugglers and balloon animals and- And why was I, Lord High Awesome Party, occasionally known as Strong Man, not invited? Whisperingly, I don't think Mazepin likes you very much. You know, I bet I could win this race. That's cute. Keep dreaming, tiny legs. All this race talk has intrigued me. I believe I will postpone your pummeling. For now. Pummeling? Hold on, I gotta take this. Yes, Mazepin? Yes? 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 No! Yes! Yes! I miss you too, Puddin' Sack. See you after the race. Bye! Girlfriend troubles? 
Not me, bro. Marzipan just wanted my opinion on the decorations. And the cake jars. And the player of Lowland's Toad Weasel. And the bit Did free? Pardon me. I'm off to the locker room to reacquire my game face. Let's walk around. Can we talk to Coach? These stands are emptier than a striper concert. <laughs> Homestar's cell phone is finally mine. Now I can change all his speed dials. Muhuhaha. <laughs> hey, don't be fiddling with that Pogliacci stick. Hey, Coach Z, what's this heavy lord for? Thanks for the second leg of the race to the end of the race. The pogo stick while carrying a heavy lord leg. Ah, yes, of course. How silly of me. Hey, don't mess with that camera. It's a sensitive instrument. If that turtle doesn't keep running... Yeah, yeah, whatever. Go see. What's the good word? No time for jibbers or jammers right now, strong bad. I gotta make sure this race goes off without a hitch. After talking to my bad buddy Homestar, I, strong bad, have decided to compete and dominate the free country USA triannual race to the end of the race. Where's that starting line? Well, now that's gonna be a bit of a problem, strong bad. The deadline for entering the race was over a month ago. What? In fact, there are only two official entrants in this year's race. Homestar and Pom Pom. Not exactly a clash of the titans there, coach. Yeah, maybe we should have put up some flyers or something. Tell me more about this race of which you speak. Haven't you heard? It's time for the Free Country USA Triannual Race to the end of the race. Oh, what now? You know, the F-C-U-T-R-E-R. Every three years, the greatest athletes in the world gather to pit their pits against the most grueling obstacle course devised by man or beast, all in the hopes of winning the coveted Free Country USA Triannual Race to the End of the Race Silver Trophy of Ultimate Destiny! You mean the F-C-U-T-R-E-R-S-T-U-D? The Fakutra Stud! Exactly! Okay. Let's see if we can pick up anything else around here. Hey, don't go messing with my booming system. Don't touch that turtle. Can I touch anything around here? What? That's one cretaceously big trophy. It dang well should be. That's the silver trophy of ultimate destiny. Awarded to the winner of the Free Country USA Triannual Race to the end of the race. Of course it is. Don't touch that kernel with the milk. <laughs> Curdle and then a hurdle. Don't touch that hurdle. Nothing to do over there. Guess we're gonna go back to I've got home. I've half a mind to go over to Marzipan's and give her a piece of the rest of my mind about not inviting me to her sucko party. But where should I put her house on my map? As far away as we can, down here. Don't touch the balloons. Do you know how hard it is to find eco-friendly mylar? <laughs> I'm back here, strong bad. I saw the loosest soil I've ever seen. Not that I spend a lot of my time staring at soil or anything, but man, so loose. I don't 
don't know much about shrubbery, but I know an unclipped red-headed step hedge when I see one. Maybe over here. Hey! I heard an ugly rumor that there's going to be a party here and I'm not invited. Oh, that's not a rumor. Good! It's a cold hard fact. <laughs> Why? Do you remember what happened the last time I invited you to a party? Behold, I am Lord Burglebroth. Come for your souls. All will kneel before my style. Look out. <laughs> no, not really. That figures. <laughs> Did you make all these decorations? That's so sweet of you to ask. Why, yes, all of these party decorations were handcrafted by me, myself, and I. I grew the bamboo for the tiki torches in my underground terrarium, ground the paint pigments for the victory banner from a variety of rose petals in my garden, and completed a three-week course in ironworking at the local community college so that I could hand smelt the cute little homestar float over there. Wow, that was a lot of words. I can't believe you're throwing such a big party for such a small brain. <laughs> Who? Oh yeah, Homestar. Well, I was just planning to throw a big party celebrating my award-winning organic vegetable garden, but no one seemed to want to come to that. So I added Homestar into the mix, and now everyone's coming. Ahem. <clears throat> Almost everyone. Thank you. That shrub out front looks like it's made out of the ugly sticks that someone beat it with. Isn't it just the saddest thing you've ever seen? I trim it, but my head shears are in the shop. The head shears fixing shop? Well, Bub's concession stand, but he likes to call it a shop. Hey, look at the invisible time. Bye now. Bye, shop bad. <laughs> All right, so next we go to Bub's concession stand. Let's take a look around first. Whoa, that is one seriously ginormous version of Homestar. Do you like it? The paper is made from 100% vegetable products from my prize-winning organic garden. I always suspected Homestar was a big vegetable. Victory for Homestar Garden Party. Talk about counting your armless chickens before they hatch. I like to think of it as positive thinking. If I can visualize Homestar winning the race, then he will win the race. You're about to make me start positive puking. I visualized that yesterday. You know, it kind of sort of looks like this party is more about showing off your garden than celebrating Homestar's unlikely racing prowess. Don't be silly, Strombat. I never put the needs of my rhododendrons, marigolds, and okra above those of, um... Homestar. Right, Homestar. Mmm, <laughs> ripe, stinky onions. I better pick a few in case I need to make an emergency stew later on or something. The rest of these onions need a few more weeks to blossom into their full stinky potential. Alright, bubs. Okay, let's see. Oh, man. My map is looking a bit undernourished. I need to throw Bob's concession stand up here somewhere. Hey, you! With the face! Bob's! Strong man! Shouldn't you be beating the snot out of Homestar or something? How do you know about that? I'm your internet provider, man. I read all your emails. <laughs> How's the fast-paced world of concession stands? Uh, standing. Business is biz nasty. Good grief, Bubs. You've really let yourself go. <laughs> hey, man, I've got a glandular problem. More like a gravy boat problem. Marzipan sent me to pick up her head shears. She did? Well, that's just awesome. I got them all fixed up and ready to go. Whoa, these are pretty sweet. You sell it? I've totally rebuilt them with my patented gyroscopic Ocho Track Blade Action and passenger side airbag. 
Guaranteed to shave a shrub smoother than a baby's bottom. These are way too cool for marzipan. I think I'll give him a test driver 10 before I give him back to her. Anything to see? See you later, customator. A box. Box peering guy. Hey. <laughs> it's the cover to my long lost Snake Boxer 5 manual. If I can find the rest of this thing, I'll have the cheat code that unlocks Snake Boxer 5 super secret forbidden mode. Wanna buy some? Everybody wanna buy some? Come back soon. I don't think there's anything else in this map. Oh, strong bad here. the strong body and flag or old snakes and tires and knives and brown as the colonists used to call it hail first citizen tire how fair things in the glorious republic of strong badia very good carry on then This is the sign that totally notifies all trespassers that they have officially entered Strong Badia, the place where the tropical breezes blow, in theory. We will go to our map. Found Strong Badia. Guess we go back to Mars of Pans and trim the hedges of many small villages. That hedge is having a seriously bad twig day. Shears and hedges go together like slow mo and explosions. Hey, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> It's a very nice rendering, Strong Bad. Hey, I miss my shears. <laughs> These? Oh no, yours are still in the shop. These are Strong Sad's, but he's off his meds right now, so I took them from him, just to be safe. Well, that was very thoughtful of you, Strong Bad. Yeah, well, you know me, Mr. Thoughtful. Thank you for visiting Strong Bad's super discount cut clips. See you again in six weeks. Ooh, a big pile of hedge trimmings. Can't ever have enough of these. Ah, uh, much better. The rest of these onions need a few more weeks to blossom into their full stinky potential. Can I cut them up? That won't do anything interesting. <laughs> All right. Can't go in her house, can we? I said I'm back here, Strong Bad. Oh, yeah, I forgot already. <laughs> All right, maybe we go back to our house. Uh, no. Checking my snail mail, checking my snail mail. Mmm, what's this? I'm ready for the big heist. Those smoky red laser beams don't stand a chance when I'm in this <laughs> getup. Mmm, I think I'll put it in my fancy schmancy trans-dimensional photo booth wardrobe. New costume item. Find your way to the photo booth to wear this item and take fancy pansy pictures suitable for emailing to your friends. This is Charlemagne, Strong Sad's plant. It used to be healthy, but after Strong Sad started talking to it, it decided to kill itself. That's not true. That's not what the note said. 
Hit me with your best food shot, fridge of mine. The only thing in here is some paleolithic fluffy puff mayonnaise. Looks like some fat buddy needs to go to the store. <laughs> it was my turn last time. Let's just see what's in the old CD spinner. Oh, it's Strongside's copy of the best of Brit Pout, the 90s years. You gotta see it when Strongman shotguns one of these things. That smoke detector hasn't had a battery since that day I made Strongside eat a 9 volt po boy. <laughs> Sometimes, I like to stand in front of my window and start flexing, in case a girl's volleyball team is walking by. The loneliest goat sees the last sunset last. That's a horse. <laughs> the cheat, watch your freaking back, Squeaky. Man, that's one intimidating hush puppy. See the basement. Hey, cheat. Shut up. Hey, look at that thing over there. Those are pendants from various academic institutions, unaccredited and discredited alike. Only Strong Sad seems to know the secrets of these mysterious mechanical devices. Keep on keeping my butt print warm for me, couch. Hey, it's that infomercial for the Ab Aber 2000. It claims you can get a nine pack in less than 40 scribblers a day. I can't play mm. Trogdor until someone gets off their pasty white butt and fixes the joystick. I'm working on it, but the parts are on back order. Foreshadowing some, uh... Later gameplay, I hope. You know what I need to add some much needed hua to my day? A little thing I like to oh, call yeah. Teen Girl Squad. Teen Girl Squad! Cheerleader! So and so! What's your face? The ugly one! Shrimp boys. Okay, gals and gal related girls, we fit to look so good. Yeah, I say. At the sub JV basketball game tonight, all the cute boy pieces will be there. And maybe sloppy seconds for you. Alright. So, what do we do? I can practice my moves on this basketball. Oh, hey, basketballer. I know it's the wrong sport, but we can still get to first base. <laughs> you don't got that. Oh. <laughs> All right. Text message, ringtone, hairspray, perfume. Let's do text message for the ugly one. Ding, doodle, ding, doodle, ding. It's a text message. Maybe it's a boy. No, just me. You. Walking is like a fashion show for shoes. Boys love pubescence perfume. Accentuate the awkward. Plant one on me, basketballer! Who are you talking to? Oh, what? Uh, that's what I say. If a boy was here. Oh. <laughs> Player on the game! Uh oh, girl type. Gotta look good despite my hairless legs. Nothing impresses like a chest pass. He's on fire! <laughs> Make sure my cover up isn't flaking. Nope, horrible scarring acne is safely concealed. <laughs> cover your lungs, everyone.
everyone! I gotta crisp these bags up with some ozone killer hairspray! Better put on some sunscreen! Ooh! SPF negative 50! It's over. <laughs> uh, that was inexcusably in funny. I can't let the guys at the snooty independent record store see that. Negative 10 points. Maybe I should try combining some of my ideas on the same girl. Or maybe work on my comedic timing. <laughs> That's funny. We'll return I to that. never get enough of that sassy, injury-prone teen girl squad. The only thing that could possibly make their adventures even more unfortunate would be if I used those really cool Team Girl Squad ideas I jotted down last night after a fried chicken pizza bender. Hey, what happened to all my really cool Team Girl Squad ideas? Another, uh, all secondary right, objective. The tarantula black metal detector! I had to sell like 500 magazine subscriptions to get this baby, but it was totally worth it to be able to shoot radioactive positrons into the Earth's crust in search of rusty pennies. That's my Videlectrics poster that I got for sending in 10 bucks to become a member of the Videlectrics Good Graphic Kateers. <laughs> ah, the short-lived 7-track. Your lack of a play button was your undoing. <laughs> Nothing like a little snake fisticuffs to clear the mind. Play some okay. snake? Show me that logo! Do, 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 do. <laughs> awesome! Snake Boxer 5! So much better than the unfortunate Snake Boxer 4. Lady Snake Parade. Arrow up and down is move. Arrow right is block. And control is punch. Take that! Ah. Pretty even. Kind of cheesing in here. Pretty much the coolest. I've been bited. Ooh, right in the face. Upper blow. Body punch. This game sucks. <laughs> Stupid snake! And the snake goes down! Ugh. The black border is really great in how it lets you imagine a crowd cheering you up! <laughs> this is so... Everybody knows the Classically game simple. Kind of looks like Strongman with giant eyebrows holding two giant cherries. He only got me because my eyebrows are blocking my view. Man, that was easy. You got one life left. I think they just change color, not actual Come difficulty. Because I'm not really trying here at all. Your Cobra style is no match for the way of the drunken five pixel power punch. I quit. <laughs> I did not just get beat by a stupid snake. Unless it was one of them two headed freak show snakes. Then it's an honor. All right. So and if we can find the rest of the um, game manual, then we can get the cheat code to unlock the super secret mode. That'll be fun.
Missy Pile. It's possible that my bed's under there, but I'm not touching it to find out. I'll do the dishes once our skeet shooty flinger gets fixed. I can't use the waving mic. Its doors stuck shut with nacho entrails and mangled action figures. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. It must be strong side's room. The door is closed. Ah, uh, yes. Today's the day I finally give Homestar his long overdue pummeling in that race to the end of the race day. That's where I keep discs 1 through 24 of all my favorite games. Ah, my trusty steed. Stooly, I'd ride you into email battle any day. I can't unplug the Lappy. It takes five to seven business days to fully charge the battery. Lappy don't charge on weekends. <laughs> don't brag and boast. Just put a little email all on your toast. Dear Mr. Bat, my brother and I were wondering whose head is bigger. Yours or Homestar's? Quizzically, Jay and Jim Rosen, Brooklyn, New York. Mm, that's a good question. I should go do some field research. Dear Strongman, is it true that you're going to be beating the snot out of Homestar soon? Because I'd like a piece of that action. Taking the under over, Dan O'Meara. Country Croc, Ireland. <laughs> I think we try for the race. Collectibles. So we have a breakdown of uh, what we need to be doing here. Costume items, we found one, there are four. People phone pranked. Zero of seven. Uh, we do have Homestar, Homestar's phone. Maybe we can do some of that. TGS cards. Haven't found any of those. We found one manual page and uh, don't have any obscure trophies yet. I think we're going to have... <laughs> we got a minus ten on Teen Girl Squad. We're going to have to try for the race next, I think. If that turtle doesn't keep... My turn. So all a guy has to do is win a stupid race to get that really kick-awesome trophy? Not even close. In order to prove themselves worthy of the Free Country USA Triannual Race to the End of the Race Silver Trophy of Ultimate Destiny, da -da -da -da, you gotta beat the best time of all the previous trophy winners. Well, that sucks. What's the best time? As it just so happens, yours truly got the best time way back in 1999. Check it out. Okay, so if a guy beats your time and everyone else's time, then he gets the trophy, right? You'd think so, wouldn't you? But no! After the times have been posted, I have to send a recording of the race to the official review committee in Stockholm for verification. Then, and only then, is a new free country yada 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 champion crowned! Swedes, I hate those guys! Just to summarize for all the kids playing at home, <laughs> all the guys got to do to win that trophy is A. Win the race. Check. Two. Beat your time. Yep. And Z. Wait for you to send in the video of the race so the results can be officially sanctioned by a bunch of meatball-loving Swedes. You got it. 
Come on, man! Let me in the race! Rules are rules, strong man. Only Homestar and Pom Pom will be allowed to compete in the Free Country USA Triannual Race to the end of the race! Alright. Well, looking like things are a little... taking a little bit longer than I thought uh, to progress in this first episode of Homestar Ruiner. Uh, so that'll do it for today's episode, but uh, we will be back. Don't worry. The game uh, is a very casual... well, it's your typical Telltale Games experience. Point and click... Uh, kind of story game so you just you're basically playing it for the story and not necessarily for any unique gameplay although it is kind of fun to see how they can work in different types of game mechanics into something like this which otherwise seems like your standard uh flash animated homestar runner cartoon a lot of fun uh we'll be back later with some more strong bads cool game for attractive people in the meantime thanks for watching guys we'll see you later take care